This video is Lesson 3 of the Hands-On Equations Learning System. And in this video, we're going to learn a legal move that you can make using X-Men that will speed up the process of solving equations. And before we jump into looking at any equations, let's consider this scenario. Let's say we move a, an X-Men into the left-hand pan of the balance. What would you expect the the balance to do now and from your experience using pan balances you probably know that when you put more weight on a side it's going to cause that pan to go down so how could we then restore uh, this the our, 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 our pan balance to its original state meaning how could I get it to be balanced again now that I've got it out of balance and one side is farther down than the other well, there's a couple of ways, and one way, the, the most obvious way that you're probably thinking is, well, just take the the, the piece, the blue, the blue uh, X-Man that you just put up there, just take it off. And if we take it off, obviously there's nothing on it, so it's now going to restore, restore its, what we call its equilibrium, which is its original balance. Can you think of another way if we had a pawn on the left-hand side that we could restore its equilibrium without taking off that original pawn? Well, another way would be to add a pawn to the other side that is identical to the one on the left-hand side. So if this pawn on the left-hand side, if I had a, an exact clone of that pawn and put it in the right-hand side, it should restore that equilibrium, and this side should no longer go down. It should go back up, and the two pans should return to an equal height. So one thing that we can say that is true is that if we add a pawn that has the same value to each side of a pan balance, the pan balance will stay in balance. It's not going to, one side is not going to go down and the other side will go up. It will stay in equal, in equilibrium. Will the reverse also be true? If we remove one pawn from one side and we do exactly the same thing to the other side, for example, if we took these two pawns and this pawn and this pawn, if we took them off at exactly the same time, would our pan balances stay the same? And to, to look at that a little bit further, we can add a number to each side. Now, obviously, right now, we, we know that these the, the two sides are the same, are in balance, because they have exactly the same pieces on both sides. If we were to take off this left-hand uh, pawn, we would expect the right-hand side, the right-hand pan, to go down because it now has more weight on it than the left hand side however if at the exact same time i took off this left one and this right one we would expect the pan balance to stay exactly the same uh, height because what we just did is we removed the same value from both sides and we're left with the same value on both sides and this concept is what we're going to be applying in this lesson and that says that if we have a pawn on each side of a pan balance, as long as we remove a pawn from the left-hand side and the right-hand side at the exact same time, our equation will stay balanced because we took the same amount of weight away from both sides of our system. Let's take a look at how this might look at using an equation. And in our previous lessons, when you see an equation that looks like this, 4x plus 2 equals 3x plus 9, your only method of solving this was using trial and error. And you'd originally start by plugging in values for x and checking what the left-hand side of the equation was worth and then checking the right-hand side. And you keep changing the value of x until you got the left-hand and the right-hand side to be equal. And in an equation like this, that actually would take you quite a bit of time unless you just got lucky and, and started off with a value of x that was very close to the solution. However, there is a way that we can speed this up quite a bit. So let's set up this equation. On the, on the left-hand side, it says 4x. Remember that that means 4 of the x-men. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it says plus 2, so we're going to add a 2. And on the right-hand side, it says 3x, so that means 3 of the x-men, and then plus 9. And now that our equation is set up, we can go back to thinking about what we just did. And we just said that if we are to keep this equation balanced, which we know it is balanced right now, 
And the reason we know it's balanced is because the equal sign tells us that this side and this side have exactly the same value. So we know it's balanced right now. If we want to keep it balanced, we know that if we take one x-min away from the left-hand side and one away from the right-hand side at the exact same time, it will stay balanced. I took an equal amount of weight away from both sides of the, of the equation. So I'm going to continue doing that. I can do that again. One from each side, and I'm going to continue one from each side. Now notice, I now cannot do that anymore because I have an x-min over here, but I don't have one over here to take away. And this, this number right here, is not necessarily the same value as this x-min. So yes, it, it is an object over here, and it is an object over here, but they don't necessarily have the same value. So now that we've simplified our equation by removing a bunch of x-men from both sides, you can see how much it easier it is to solve. We have x plus 2 equals 9. So we're thinking what plus 2 equals 9? Well, 7 plus 2 equals 9, so x equals 7. And we do want to check this, so I'm going to set up the original equation, 4x plus 2 equals 3x plus 9. And as always, when you're doing your check, you're going to plug in the value that you think x is equal to for every x. And then you're just going to add up all of your numbers on each side. So I have 7, 14, 21, 28 plus 2. 28 plus 2 is 30. And on the right hand side, 7, 14, 21 plus 9. That is also 30. So my check confirmed that x equals 7 does make this equation balanced. Let's look at another example. This says 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 14. So when we set this up, we have 5x's and a 2 in the left pan, and 2x's and 14 in the right pan. Now, I don't have a 14, but I can make 14 using a variety of combinations. I'm just going to use 10 plus 4. This would be one that would be very difficult to use trial and error to solve, but I know that if I remove an x men from both sides at the same time, our equation will stay balanced. So if I take an x men away from the left side and the right hand side, still balanced, and it looks like I can do that one more time, I can't do it anymore because I no longer have any x men on the right hand side. I do have numbers over here, but I don't have uh, any x-men. And now I can use trial and error to solve. And if I just start out by saying, what if x equals 1? I can count by 1s. 1, 2, 3, plus 2 is 5. 5 on the left-hand side, 14 on the right-hand side. 5 does not equal 14, so x does not equal 1. And then I can keep trying, trying 2. 2, 4, 6, plus 2 is 8. 8 does not equal 14. And eventually, it looks like I'm going to have to skip a couple. Maybe 5, 5, 10, 15, 17. Oh, now we're too big. 17 doesn't equal 14. So let's try 4. 4, 8, 12, plus 2. Uh, 14 on this side, 14 on this side. So we have figured out the value of x, and x equals 4. We can confirm that by setting up our equation to its original state and then counting by what we think x is, in this case 4, plugging in 4 for every x, and then we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, plus 2 is 22 on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, 4, 8, plus 10 is 18, plus 4 is 22, 22 does equal to 22, so x does equal 4. Here's one more example, and if you feel like you're ready to try this on your own, pause the video now, and you can try it on your own using manipulatives or by sketching pictures. So we have 2x plus an x plus 4. Again, remember that this means 2x men, not 2 plus x. And then on the right-hand side, we have 4x men. plus 1. This would be difficult to solve right now using trial and error, but I can simplify this by removing some of these x-men that are on both sides. So if I take this one off, got to take this one off. And then I can continue doing that, taking pairs of x-men off from both sides. 
And I can't take any more X-Men off from both sides because I only have one on the right-hand side and I don't have one on the left. However, this is now much easier to solve using trial and error because I have x plus 1 on the right-hand side and that's equal to 4 on the left. So what plus 1 equals 4? x must be equal to 3. Go back and set up your original equation. 2x plus x plus 4 equals 4x plus 1. Plug in the value of x that you want to check, in this case 3. and then count up everything that you have in each balance. 3, 6, 9 plus 4 is 13. 3, 6, 9, 12 plus 1 is also 13. So our check made sure that this is balanced when x equals 3. So in this lesson, we learned that if we have an x-men on each side of our pan balance, meaning we have an X-Men on the left and an X-Men on the right, we can remove an X-Men from the left and right at the same time, and our pans will not move. Our equation will stay balanced. We can use that idea to help us simplify equations until we're able to solve using trial and error.